NRCS has a long history with working with farmers and ranchers, forest landowners to implement their conservation goals on the landscape. Quite frankly, without the strong relationships that we have with the partners here in Montana, our collective footprint would not be as big on that landscape and the conservation that we are all getting done would not be as effective. rancher might not be eligible or meet the program requirements or have signed up in time for certain programs, um, we can then try to grasp those outliers. So instead of each agency working independently and things looking like scattered random acts of conservation, that partnership together shows that those things are congruent. Here you've got people, a lot of agency folks, a lot of government folks, a lot of outside interests that come to the ground and they want to know you and they want to see what's happening. And there's a great amount of trust that's developed. But I can't emphasize enough from my perspective that it's the people on the ground that make this work. Relationships are key in creating a conservation plan that's going to be successful project for me early on in my career to, to be able to work with so many partners, um, get involved with those agencies and just work together for a, a, a great cause like this. And it's, it's been a pleasure. There's no question it's a partnership. I can get on the phone and, and, and call the guys down there and ask them questions. be very difficult very difficult to do do stuff you know alone too and, and it's also good to partner um, I think the relationships that we've developed you know over the years have really made this possible and speaking from the DNRC standpoint I mean that's very important to us you know that we maintain those and grow those relationships because ultimately that's where we can impact and have the most bang for our buck. Roughly about 60 percent of this area is, is tribal land and we have a lot of the majority of that is tribal forest and so we are working with NRCS to reduce some of this uh, fire risk on our lands. Partners and NRCS to work together as a partnership and utilize some of our program dollars that we have available through the Environmental Quality Incentives Program and Conservation Stewardship Program as well as our easement programs meeting with some partners in the area, irrigation districts and growers and, and uh, NRCS folks. Um, we all kind of had a common goal to uh, um, help our growers in the area produce our um, malt barley and sugar beets uh, sustainably. You know, the tribes and, and the effort that they've made toward their management of their natural resources and the commitment that they made, I, I just, it just, like I said, I can't say it enough. It just makes my job fun. And, you know, to, to work with folks who really want to see the best for their resources and uh, who, who have taken the steps that they have. It's crucial and key for producers and partners of all kinds to work together. Without a lot of the state and federal agencies, even local groups, it's hard for the average farmer or rancher to get a lot of the projects done on their property that would help conserve resources. Uh, partnerships are essential for ranches like this, uh, especially a ranch like this where ownership spread out between seven different siblings. I think. NRCS will constantly be looking for ways to partner with folks like the Hansons and, and find solutions, just like we will. We, and we work almost seamlessly with groups like the NRCS, and that's it's really great to have local partners like that. Partnerships to get things done, to work for you, to make your business more successful and sustainable. 
this is a partnership and if they believe that too. I mean, if both parties believe that this is a partnership and there's trust there, um, you can, it's amazing what you can accomplish. We're really fortunate in the Bitterroot Valley in that we have um, a great suite of active partners. We all get along really well and work well together and that is just truly a gift. Trying to fit what I, I need, yet yeah, very flexible and understanding like organization and a partnership with the NRCS. Partnership between the people and the ranchers, so to make it the be the best balance between the two, to take advantage of take advantage of the grass while keeping it healthy and taking advantage of the stewardship that we we really take pride in as ranchers. On behalf of NRCS Montana, I want to thank all of our partners. Without your dedication, your commitment your tireless work, agriculture, wildlife, rural economies, conservation would not be where it is today.